I just finished watching Overkite season three. Oh, but I think I just pooped in my pants. It was insane. So let's talk about hey, it. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Jeff Kaplan. I play Cruz on Cobra Kai. And you're watching Jared Watton on YouTube. There is, like, way too much to talk about here because it was just so insane. I woke up at about 8 this morning. I just watched all 10 episodes. Like, I could not contain myself because I needed to see, you know, how the story progresses. And there wasn't a bad episode. Even the only episode that dragged for me was episode 4. But even then, I was still invested in the storyline. And there will be spoilers in this video. So, spoiler warning now. Um... The cliffhanger, if you're not a Karate Kid fan, it's kind of hard to understand, um, especially even the crease plot, plot line. And just one thing I want to mention before I get into the review, I know Hayden went on Twitter to say there are three deaths in the season. And for some of you being like, what's up with that? There's no three deaths. There actually were in the flashback scenes. Three people did uh, bite the dust. So just to clear that up for you. Um, but let's just get into the review and just kind of chat and talk about the season. I mean... We have Daniel, who at first, because of the school fight, his dealership is just plummeting and plummeting. So then um, Tom Cole, he tries to buy out or get a deal with the company that Daniel's um, cars are also shipped through and just get a deal with them and tell them to shut out the Russo Auto. So then Daniel, uh, which is cool reasoning for him going back to Japan, goes to Japan um, to meet with the people and try and get the thing back. Then he's like, he's not able to, so he goes to Okinawa, he reunites with Kumiko, Chosen, by the way, Karate Kid 2 is in my top 20 favorite movies of all time, along with the other two Karate Kids, definitely, um, and he just kind of talks to Chosen, Kumiko, and it's really cool, it's a fun adventure, and then, um, I forgot her name, what was her name, the little girl that he saves in Karate Kid 2 at the end in the big storm, she actually works in, uh, the car dealership manufacturer so she gets him the deal then larusa auto sales um start going up again but the big villain in this and the hero in my opinion is chris i want to call him a hero but in some aspect like we see inside of his mind we see these flashbacks that are just absolutely insane like you feel bad for this guy because you see that he's enlisted you see that he's bullied but not really bullied you know these guys start a fight then there's this poster to enlist and then he goes into the military then his girlfriend dies in a car crash while he's in the military and um he ends up you know he could have saved the general because the uh americans came and they delivered like the bomb to um save everyone but then he's like no and then just like steps on the guy and kills him uh which was interesting i guess but the big cliffhanger was um basically in that scene too there were a bunch of um officers trapped trapped in the cage and so he opens the cage and the guy he's like I i'll owe you your whole life and that was actually terry silver who's one of my actual favorite favorite villains of all time and, you know, he's just crazy. And then Kreese calls him at the end for the favor. And they set up the all value. Like, I've never been so excited for a season four, a season for that matter, of a show since season two of Cobra Kai. And so now we see that there's going to be an... They set up so much for next season. I mean, we see... Uh, Eagle, was it, what was it? Eagle Fang Karate, which was an odd name. I was just laughing when he revealed his shirt. He goes, Eagle Fang. And then uh, I think it was Mitch or Assface. Um, he goes... Yeah, but eagles don't have fangs. He's like, shut up. And then he just makes them wear the shirts. And they're training in the park. And then at the very end, we see Johnny and Daniel join forces and become one united to destroy Kree. And that was what people were going to predict that would happen in the season. And it did. But now that's going into season four. And the fight here, I think it was better than the school fight. The final fight here. I mean, if you want to consider them two separate fights, I'm considering them one fight with Kree and Johnny. Um... And then Daniel and Johnny versus Robbie. And then all of um, the Miyagi-Dos versus the Cobra Kais and Eagle Fangs. And 
thing with that was they were building up, like, will they, won't they tension with Hawk? Will he, you know, continue this bully and this horrible person? And then he ends up being this nice guy. Not nice guy, but he helps Dimitri. They make up. And Miguel's recovery arc was something I loved to see because I was hoping, really hoping they wouldn't just, you know, end of episode one, uh, Miguel's okay and he can walk again. No, they built it up through the season and then, you know, little by little it comes back, which is something I just loved. And the inclusion of Ali made so much sense where they put it because that built up in the finale was solving, you know, the tension between Johnny and Daniel. And then we have Johnny who knocks Robbie out, which I don't know why no one was, um, I haven't really seen anyone talk too much about that. And not even that, but the aspect that Daniel just didn't even care that Johnny was hitting his son. And then Crease tries to like kill Johnny. And then Daniel saves the day, which is what the technique Chosen taught him. And he was going to kill Crease because Chosen taught him the technique which you know there's a reason for chosen being in there and there's a reason for Daniel going to okinawa and it all just connected so so nicely like my only criticism of the first two seasons which i always say this is such a small small criticism is the fact that um you know it kind of just doesn't all tie in like every episode this own story and you know things from last episode doesn't tie into the next episode but there are a lot of cool easter eggs um to let me know if you want to see an easter egg breakdown but there's so much cool stuff that i absolutely admired and adored in this season especially and the show and i'm so excited for season four hopefully we get at least eight seasons i mean i feel like that's a little far-fetched the writers did say they have enough material for six seasons so i'd like to see six seasons but you know terry silver is going to be in the new season season four which i'm imagine would come out like fall of next year maybe maybe this time next year again and honestly it's just so exciting man um they're starting to maybe either i don't know if it's filming or writing it january it might have already been written um but cruz jeff catlin my personal best friend yeah He's my best friend. Um, <laughs> he was in it. So that was awesome when they're looking for Robbie. Then you see, you know, Johnny hit rock bottom again. And then he comes back. And we see Johnny and Carmen finally do. You know what I mean? That was really you know, a fun aspect. So there's just so many aspects of this season that really made me enjoy. And how can I not mention the crease flashbacks? I know some people are iffy on that. I loved it. Added so, so much depth to his character. Like, seeing these Crease flashbacks were absolutely amazing. Just seeing, you know, Crease and how he became this person and what led to him becoming this guy. And seeing, you know, the ultimate conclusion of the season and just seeing, you know, Daniel having this choice if he's going to kill Crease or not. And then Sam and Miguel show up. Sam and Miguel getting back together was awesome. And Robbie was signed a lot, sidelined this season a little bit, which made sense in the aspect of the story. So I was okay with that. And um, I think that's everything I want to mention in this review. Um, this was my spoiler review. And I hope you guys all enjoyed, man. Uh, this was a great season. I think I will be doing a ranking of the seasons, which is like ranking the best things ever. But thank you so much for watching. No mercy. And until next time.